Hi everyone, it's Kizzy The Connect and you're tuned into The Connect DMV. Today I would like to introduce you to our very first guest, Von J. So Von J, how are you doing today? Well, how about you? I'm doing pretty well. So today I would like to talk to you and kind of get to know you as an R&B artist. So can you start by telling me a little bit about yourself? I've been doing music since I was 14. I started out with this group called The Young Spitters. I, I, was, I wasn't really singing back then. I was more rapping. Oh, okay. But I never really took it serious until now. So. And so when you say this area, do you mean Salisbury? Um, from the Prince, East? From Prince Oh, Princess yeah. Okay, see, I would have got that confused. Yeah. Okay. All right, and so can you tell me what kind of um, led you towards singing rather than rapping since you kind of say you started off with that? It was like maybe my 11th grade year. My man's was in a uh, chorus, and he was like, yo, it's easy. You should come try it. Because <laughs> I really never, I, you know, I used to play around with it, like, you know, sing in the bathroom and sing in my house and stuff. But I never really took it serious. But then he was like, you should get in there. It's going to be an easy grade. You know, how it starts. Yeah, just, come, just come try it out. So from there, I just feel like, all right, I'm going to just try to sing and stuff. So you knew you could sing before or? I I wasn't confident in okay. myself with it. Okay, because I was about to say singing in the shower, that's a yeah. big leap. Yeah, you know, yeah, sometimes right. I sound a little good in the shower, <laughs> but, uh, you know, so, okay. So can you tell me some things you've been working on musically? Um, just working on my first and next tape. Well, it's actually, it's actually complete, completed, excuse me. It's completed, and um, I think I'm going to drop it this Friday. Oh, okay. So that's a big deal. Yeah, okay, yeah. so can you tell me a little bit about this mixtape? What does it kind of represent for you? Uh, it just, it's just my coming out party, should I say. Like, I feel like this is going to show everybody that, oh, he's serious, and he's actually all right with what he's doing, so that's what I'm trying to you know. Okay, okay. And so... Uh, how many songs are featured on this? Uh, nine. Nine. Yeah. Okay. And are there any? Is there any one particular song that kind of meant the most to you, or you know, anything like that, or were they all kind of? They kind of were really off the all from the moment that you know we just sent them the studio creating for real, like, just bringing different ideas, and as each song goes, like, we just vibing. Okay. So like. You're saying the creation kind of came through the studio, things like that, or like, yeah, like did it tie into any life events, or not really? No, okay, not really. It so it's more of just more like creative, just, yeah, creative. And just, yeah. Okay, just to show your creative mm -hmm. side. So, what have you worked on before this mixtape? Like, what has led up to this? Um, my couple songs, like as far as we never really put out put out no mixtape or nothing. We just was me and my friends was getting together. Just putting songs out, just trying to create a, a buzz. Okay. Should I say. okay. And so, what kind of things do you? So, have you featured anybody else on your mixtape, or was this a completely solo type of thing? No, nah, I got a couple people on there. I got my brother on there. He's nice with it. He's another person that inspired me to do it. I got my um, my cousin. She goes by Legacy, and I got my man's Toronto called Alamo. He's on it too. I ain't really have enough time to like, you know, sit down with people and get them, get them to like come to a creative standpoint on song. So I just was doing my thing for it, as far as by myself. Okay. And so what do you think fans should kind of expect from your your first mixtape? Good music. Good music. But yeah, just something that you can ride to. So where can fans find this first mixtape of yours? It's most definitely going to be on SoundCloud. Okay. So, and so, are you on any social media? Is there any way fans can kind of get any updates on what's going on with you? Yeah, I mean, you can follow me on Twitter at double uh, xl underscore jizzle, and you can follow me on Instagram at vine underscore jizzle. Okay. Well, I definitely would like to thank you for being our very first guest, and I have just one more favor to ask you. And I just wanted to know, can our fans get a little sneak peek of what to expect on your album? Maybe sing us a song or something like that? Yeah, most definitely. I got this song called Without Your Love that I feel like everybody can vibe to. So, give me that one. Okay, well, thanks again, and I look forward to hearing you. All right, man.
got my heart You got my soul I just want your love That's all I need from you And I ain't heard from you Girl, you should be ashamed Cause girl, you are the reason I'm going insane My family mentions your name But I just tuned them out They asking where you at But I can't deal with that Cause now you're gone I don't know what to do You got my heart You got my soul So now I'm drinking too much And I'm smoking way more too Without your love I don't know what to do